Hamuram. Valga. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. ...on a private matter. Come. Whoa, look at that Your smoke! <laughs> it looks super pixelated! <laughs> she speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... ...let us speak to your needs. I... ...have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak, with a single eye. He bid me follow him. The high one. Okay. He calls to you. I guess that's Perhaps where we saw Odin. To speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Um. Tell no one else. Whatever happens. Whatever I see, whatever you foretell, it must stay between us. We cannot change the fate we are bound to. What matter who knows and who does not? The outcome will be the same. It matters to me. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Oh dear. What did you give me? Well. I think we died. <laughs> All we see is light. Uh. Okay, there we go. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Can I, like, look around here for stuff? Not seeing anything, so I guess not. Harvey! Harvey! Scold? Harvey! Isn't that, like, dead. a god or something? Sigurd, brother, when did you arrive? I think we might be in the vision. I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't know what happened to his brother. Like, he might be dead and <laughs> we're communicating with the, what like, is this? afterlife people. Yeah. I, I have no idea what this lady gave me, but I think we are tripping pretty hard right now. I mean, there's a wolf. A wolf that saved us. 
Well, actually, no, the wolf didn't save us. The wolf attacked us. Us. Uh oh. Brother! What is this? There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Is his arm See gone? That? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> This was not for you, Javi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's the, uh... It's the snake. Is it your mung... Your... Your mungder? I'm not... <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I remember it from uh, God of War and uh, reading some of the Norse mythology stuff. But it's been like, what, two years at least since I've read any of that stuff, so... And since I played God of War, so... Yeah, my memory's not the best on remembering that kind of stuff. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. Um... Was Odin there? Because I don't... I don't remember if Odin was there. I don't remember seeing him. I don't know what Nornir means. I'm gonna say the wolf back in. The wolf I don't know. was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. Well, I guess we can say so all of them. And the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me? Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint. Hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your Oh, great. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. All right. Quest completed. Interesting. So I guess we did see Odin before, like when we got when we got Eivor's father's axe back. Um, oh, fast travel. Okay. 
Offerings to Velka. Two chickens from Snafrid to anoint her crops. A sheep from Thora for her child's blood blessing. A goat from Dag for more skin salve. Okay. Anyway, um, when we got his father's axe back and then, uh, you know, we had that vision, I guess Odin was there. I just wasn't really paying attention to that cutscene too much and that's completely my fault. I, I really need to do a better job of paying attention to things in this game. I don't know, that's one of the things I noticed in, uh, you know, going through my first recording session. It seemed like I was kind of all over the place. Um, didn't really feel too good about it. I mean, that that kind of stuff tends to happen when I'm trying to, like, learn a new game. Yeah, we can fast travel. Also, the loading screens has this thing where you can kind of move around and get some tips. You can practice your swings. Unfortunately, there's really no combos, it feels like. Unless you use the same attack in a row. No. I don't know. But anyway, when I'm trying to learn a new game, I tend to focus, or I try to focus more on uh, trying to figure out how the game works than actually paying attention to the story of the game. And that is a problem I need to work on. In addition to uh, not rambling so much and trying to figure out how to speak better and analyze things better, you know. Get better at paying attention to the story stuff. Act, yeah. Anyway. I forgot I got two skill points, so let's go ahead and see if we can spend those. Heavy damage. We have stomp. And one of the things I want to see is... Do we get... Do we get, like, combos? Because I would like to get combos eventually. Heavy dual wield? Okay. You know, because in that loading screen, I was trying to see... Or, not that loading screen, but... When I first loaded up the game, I saw that loading screen and I was like, Oh, let me try some combos here, and... You know, in other games, usually you could go like R1, R1 for two light attacks, and then you can finish with a heavy attack with R2. Um, but it wasn't really working there. So I don't know if combos are something we have to unlock later. Or if, you know, I actually have to hit enemies in order to do combo stuff. I just kicked my mic stand, I apologize. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't pick up, but it probably did. These are some, like, really big trees. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean... Auto loot. Loot an enemy automatically after a melee kill or stealth takedown. Tell me how to do the stealth takedown. I would really like to do that. Following a successful parry, pre quickly press triangle to throw a smoke bomb at your feet and disappear. Eh. <laughs> I mean, that sounds kind of cool. Kind of like Batman type stuff, but... I don't know. Would I really use that? Not really. Okay. I think we should just continue going for this stuff. I at least want to get to Way of the Bear, and then maybe we can start looking at other trees. So, yeah, we could reset all our skills, interesting. So if I don't like this, I can just, you know, respec things. That's good to know. I was wondering about that, um, you know, if I'm not too happy with my stuff, can I just redo everything? And it looks like I can. Alright, so what do we have? Increase heavy damage when close to full health. Increase speed after each hit. 
60 attack, 57 stun, more weight. Better speed and better... Oh wait, no, that's the other thing. Never mind. Alright, so it has a little bit more attack power and that's pretty much it. And it's two-handed, so that means I can't use a shield. Eh. <laughs> Do I have any more runes? I don't think so. Okay. Is there anything else? No? Okay. Actually, let me see my quest. No. Unfortunately, I can't see like any side quests here and I don't know if I have any. I mean, I should because I, I talked to that one lady about uh, hunting for deer or something, but I don't, that, that uh, quest isn't appearing to me. Must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Uh, okay. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. See how this goes. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. I think this is the guy from the beginning of the game that we gave that, like, Eivor, thing to. Come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Um, do we have no allies? Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? I should probably pay attention more to what he's saying. <laughs> your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man, just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. If there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts. Sigurd has come. Down at the docks. His ship is here. Okay. I'm kind of with Steerborn on this one. Because... I feel like Eivor is kind of acting like a dick. You know, I, I don't like people who are overconfident with, their, with themselves. And their abilities. Because... I don't know. There's just something about people like that that I just don't like. And I know in Greek mythology, if you were like 
too arrogant, then you would have a bad time and the gods would punish you for that. So I imagine that something bad's gonna happen here. Um, probably. Or at least in this game. I mean, some pretty bad stuff has already happened to Eivor, so... I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> Even though some bad things have happened, I, I feel like there's going to be some worse things that happen to Eivor and he's just not going to have a good, uh, a good time in this game because of his arrogance. I, I just, I feel like things aren't going to go very well. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Eivor! Is he good? <laughs> Ah, oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been warring without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured Vikinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> just to start. Rangvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtvis men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing shown of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Okay, so apparently Sigurd is this guy's son. I didn't really know that. Um, There's something else important there that I kind of forgot <laughs> what it was. My son, welcome home. Uh, father... Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, Father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Okay. The other thing, um, is about Ranvi. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga oh, River, wait. raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. Now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. All right. What do you have? What do you have for me? 